be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Dennis Gebhardt here with Guru Nation, welcoming you to this episode of Rabbit Trails, along with my partner in crime, Matt Masiano. Matt, how you doing, brother? Peace, peace I'm doing, to you, man. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm yeah, doing great. Good. Well, let's see. You're getting ready to move, man. I am so excited. Ooh. I can't wait for you to get out here so we can start making stuff happen. But and uh, we are going to make we stuff are. happen. And you're packing your pod. And uh, and, and it's hot. Don't, wait, that sounded terrible, packing your pod. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Kellen's gone away for the weekend. I didn't mean anything but that. <laughs> Listen. But uh, anyway, you're getting that ready to be moved out. So that's all good. And uh, pretty soon you'll be in Denver, Colorado. And uh, I'm going to send you a John Denver date tape, you know, so you can, you know, play that music on your way out. And that'll be go- cool. <laughs> I mean, I could I could make so many jokes right now, but I'm just going to. Yeah. Well, I just said I was going to send you a John Denver tape. How how much am I telling my age? People are going, the, all the young ones watching me going, what the hell's a tape? What What is what? that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't even say the word eight track. <laughs> oh, Lord, no. No, they have no idea. But uh, so look, today we're going to have just a little bit of fun. Um, you know, like we always say, you know, we never try to, you know, we're never trying to be condescending or we're never trying to, you know, make people feel bad. But God, you got to laugh sometimes. You just have to laugh. And you know what? My mentor always said, if you can't laugh at yourself, then you're not a very happy human being because we all make mistakes. We, we all have things that we forget about. Uh, I think I was talking to somebody the other day and and they said, I can't believe I did that. That was such a stupid thing to do. And I said, well, one of my favorite talk show hosts, he always closes his program off every week by saying, you know, I want you to have a great week, you know, enjoy your family. And most of all, don't catch the stupid. <laughs> because <laughs> stupid, stupid has no boundaries. It's like a virus. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how long you've been involved in this business. It doesn't matter if you have a college education or you don't have a college education. Stupid can happen to anybody. And so uh, this is, we got to laugh at some of these things. And this is why, you know, we are on the mission that we're on is to hopefully empower our fellow uh, salon professionals so that they don't fall into these pitfalls. So today we're going to focus on social media. Well, that's what we focus on all the time. (laughs) But uh, So today, this morning, with my second cup of coffee, I was perusing Facebook. (laughs) And I ran across a post that I got pulled into. (laughs) The Vortex. And it's a prime example of what we try to get people to not do. And, and this is what they're doing. Um, there, and you can see that there is a, um, there, I'm gonna show you a before picture, okay? This was the inspiration. And then I want you to look at the after picture. And that is where they were at that point, and I'm going to read the post. And it simply says, she's tried all, the client still sees warmth. She's tried everything. She's tried the A's, ashes. She's tried the NA's, which I guess are natural ashes. She's tried the double A's, which are, I suppose, double ashes. And she says, any suggestions? Now, There's nothing wrong with this post, but it's the response. (laughs) Because out of 189 posts, (laughs) not one person asked her, 
What was your starting level? Mm -hmm. What were you trying, you know, what was your starting level? Uh, you know, all of those, those key questions that will help you give her help. But they immediately began doling out formulas. It was amazing. And so <laughs> I just want to share some of these answers. And I want you to, to see how disjointed they are. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the answer, but it's not relevant usually to what's happening. Plus, you know, you have 189 different points of view. Can you imagine this person trying to weed through all this information and find something that makes sense? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you can see the befores and afters um, when we are not the before and after, but the inspiration and the after, because we don't know what she started with. There's not a before shot. So we don't know what level it was. I'm assuming it was darker than her inspiration. I'm right. hoping that it was darker than her inspiration. And you can see by looking at these, these are the color prints of them. You can see that she simply over lightened the hair. Mm -hmm. Right, Max? I mean, that's really what she's, she's definitely taken the hair lighter than expected. I don't know. Oh, yeah. 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 When you look at, she... when you guys, when you guys see the info photo and you see where the client has landed, she's much lighter than the info photo. Right. So, so that's, that's the first thing that really nobody in the thread of advice even observed. Now, no. I will say she didn't she didn't post the info photo with her actual post. It came in the comments. Yeah. So, you know, I think that kind of came out later. However, you know, it was just everyone was so quick to just shoot off a formula right you know and and some of the formulas were okay and some were good and some wouldn't necessarily be what i would choose but right. you know it, it's i think that the what was missed at, right out of the gate is no one said what are you starting with where are you trying to go and what did you use to get there Right. And that's really what is, you know, it's like when you're going to kind of try to decode one of these, you got, you, you have to know all these things. Right. You have in, to get all the, the information. Right. Otherwise, how can you, how can you give advice if, right. you know, you don't have everything? Right. And her, her question alone was very general. Uh, right. I used all the A's and the N's and the double A's. Well, what what N's? What double A's? What A's? And then my question would be, do you know what your double A's actually have in them? What well, if you have you dyed out your brand? Do you know what's that, in your brand? Dana, we know that that's like a whole nother layer. <laughs> yes. To the puzzle. Right. So you know, it, it's like, you guys, just because it says it's ash doesn't mean it's ash. That's Until exactly you right. see it with your two eyes or four eyes, if you wear glasses, <laughs> I wear contacts. Okay. So Thank I you very much. <laughs> uh, you know, don't just believe everything you're told, you know, right? really... Right. And, the, and and honestly, like our mantra as educators and people sort of spreading the good word of hair color is we want to empower you with knowledge. And one of the most empowering things you can do as a hairdresser is to swatch out on white cotton. You don't even have to do it on hair. I mean, hair is great too, but white cotton will tell you a story about all of your shades. Exactly. 
it's the easiest way in the world to understand your color line, much easier mm -hmm. than using the swatch swatch frame. Um, so one of the answers immediately out of the gate was tone it out. Oh, this was a shade DQ formula. Tone it out with 06 GN. <laughs> you, you know, well, first of all, you know, when I look at that head of hair, I say, I'll bet you that that client has warm flecks around the pupil of her eyes. And I'll bet more than her likely. Eyes, her eyes could probably be green or, you know, one of those tonalities where she gets stuck in warmth. So, or even if that's like brown with warm fleck, you know? Right. But, but the point is, is that we went past the target. So, they, they should conceivably be able to come back down on the target. But when you look at that head of hair, uh, that hair is not gold. It's still orange. Yeah. It, it, I, I want to say, if I were going to just visually evaluate it, it's probably, in my opinion, and tell me if you agree with this, Dennis, between a red orange and an orange. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Plus, yeah. plus, uh, you know, th it, there's such a fine line there that even if you were less, let's say that it's between, you know, a six and a seven. Yeah. So you're going to tone it with a six. You're going to make it look darker. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think that, you know, I think some of that pigment, you really need enough strong pigment to really refine it. Um, you can do that. Uh, but you have to make sure that you're using the right level. She's going to, well, she could drop down two levels because when I look at that inspo photograph, Max, that to me looks like a level five. Oh yeah. The light pieces are definitely like uh, a five and the, the base is like a, I mean, I am even so bold to say it's somewhere between a two and a three. Yeah. And there are just really soft, pieces lightened up in the interior whether that's balayage whether it was done in foils whatever it right. there's not that much of a shift they are right. slightly lighter slightly warmer and that and that base the the client photo it's it's significantly lighter than the info photo yeah and and what it looks like to me is uh, she possibly did a head of highlight, you know, may, more than likely with color, and then either broke the base in between or actually did a single on the base in between the foils, because it's pretty much looking like every hair on that head has been colored. However, I didn't, there is no before photo, so I don't know what right. we're working with there. This right. is all speculation, yeah. everybody. Yeah, right. Uh, it, it probably is that she tried to highlight it if she wasn't trying to do a virgin application. And I think that she didn't do a virgin application because if you look at the mid-shaft area, you see there's still a lot of depth in that mid-shaft area. Yeah, so, it's cloudy. So I'm thinking and that would... It, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Dennis. No, no, that's good. That's okay. What I was going to say is, it looks like there. As I just cut you off again, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. It looks like there's like a little bit of artificial color in those mids, you know. Yeah. Like there's something that's clouding up the clarity of the tone. Right. Right. Yeah. I would most most often when I look at that kind of hair, I would say there must be previous color on those hair strands. Absolutely. But, um, Here's an answer for you, Max. Do not use developer. Use a demi color. It's the lift that's the problem. I mean, well, hold on. If you use a demi color without developer, you'll have no color. Did they say without developer? Did I miss that? Yes. Do not Come use on. a developer. Use a demi color. It's the lift that's the problem. Shut the front door. I'm reading it's not it. Gonna, it's not, I'm like, I mean, I'm looking for this comment on my phone right now. All right. 
So the next one says, uh, I see gold. I don't see any gold in that head. Mm -hmm. I see, well, it's a pretty dark gold, but it, I don't see gold. It, I mean, okay. It's more blue orange. It's, it's more orange to me. Yeah. Oh, I see copper reduce the volume. Well, that's, that could definitely. It could. It uh, could. Drop it your depends developer. on what level of hair she was working on. Yeah. I see gold orange, maybe blue violet. Yeah. And then, and then there's lots of formulas here. Tons. But, you know, a few people have, have noticed that she might have overshot the mark with her yeah. target shade. And yeah. Here's one that says, maybe go back over it with a gloss. I see gold. So even the N series would probably do the trick since it's blue violet based. But the M wow. series is great for making brunettes more cool tone. I, I don't even understand what this person is saying. I mean, are these people assuming that everybody's using the same hair color line? Uh, yeah, like, I think so. I think so. Uh, let's see. Green shampoo. Matrix makes some. That was a comment. Uh, if you're no, I'm not going to repeat that. Here's one. <laughs> when that happened, when it happens to me, I put a drop of blue accent. It works every time. A drop of blue accent. Wh to what? A drop of blue accent to what? Finish the story. <laughs> oh, here's something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really just trying to be open-minded <laughs> with that. Well, I, I am too, but I just think it's so funny the way we respond to these kinds of things. Yeah. I mean, the deal is the hair was over lightened and, right. and now we're in a pickle. And that happens to all yeah. of us. We've all done it. So what's the sort of easiest approach for correction? Yeah, so again, it's the point that we're trying to make is that we're not getting the whole story. Not, neither is the person giving the whole story. Right. Nor are the people who are trying to help her giving her the whole story about what to do. You know, here's one straight green. So she shuts the. Oh, so she shuts the. the she shuts up. <laughs> uh, come on. Is that Straight really green. in there? It's there. Oh, God. Stop, everyone. Hilarious, man. Um, oh, now this, of course, is she using well water? But that, that's usually the natural go-to. when. Uh, well, that's, that's we easy. Can't figure out uh, yeah. Oh, and okay. and it, it is possible, it's possible Listen. if she didn't clarify the hair before she painted it, that she we could have. Our yeah. advocates for coloring on hair that has not been polluted. Right. But, <laughs> however, you know, like, how polluted could it possibly be that it turns orange? There's usually a, yeah. something else going on. Like the hair was overlifted. Well, yeah, I mean, it's obvious in that picture that it was, that she went past her target. Yeah, that's all. You know, I, I mean, mean, that's really, you, it's really kind of simple. You went past your target. You didn't need to go that light. So, so that's not a bad thing. Where she's at, it's not bad. She has to now come back in and create the shade that she wants to create. 
here's, here's the story. Here's, if if your ashes aren't working, then I, you dye those out. And I'll guarantee you, if they're not working, if they're not refining that warmth, you probably don't have much ash in your ash family. No. And here's the, I, I found the, the best comment of, of all of them as I'm scrolling okay. through here. This woman says, overlay with a glaze. So she's actually saying, tone it down. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You know? That's like, great. Thank, thank you. No formula. Don't. She's just like, right. let's, let's maybe not bury it, but let's Here, just stop here's one. it. Here's one. Smoke it out. What does that mean? I mean, I mean, I know what I know what smoking it out means to me, but you know, smoke it out. I don't. Do you know that? We, see, we don't all speak the same language. So when somebody says smoke it out, well, what do you mean smoke it out? You know, that's I just want to sing the chorus from Rocky Mountain Heidi right now, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to try to keep it <laughs> profesh. Yes. Uh, no more ash. Don't use any more ash. Use straight naturals. And, uh, well, no, I'm sorry. That won't help her. Are you lifting her hair with color? Uh, it doesn't look Is like that's a bleach. That's not been lightened with a bleach. It doesn't look like that at all. It looks like it was lightened with color. How do you know? Here's how you know. If it was lightened with bleach, it would look roughed up. It would look very rough. Yeah. You could tell raw. If it you, raw, if it's lightened with color, you're not going to get that same effect because color is not as aggressive as lightener is. So you can tell visually just simply reading the hair as to what it's doing. Um, you know, so like if if I'm reading that hair, that underlying pigment that's exposed there, that warmth that's exposed, that tells me she had to use a very light shade in order to get that amount of lightening out of the hair. Because I'm assuming that hair that she started with was darker hair. It had to be in order for her to create that kind of a result visually. Right. And huh, very pretty. Some hair just won't take ash. Now, hold on. <laughs> How, uh, where did, who says some hair won't take ash? The hair has the hair doesn't get to make a decision. The hair is the hair is inanimate. <laughs> right. It is so, not sentient, you guys. Neither is the developer, right. neither is the color. It yeah, doesn't know what not, you're applying it to. You could be applying right. it to the hair on your head, your eyebrow, your eyeball, your shoe, it's gonna go through its chemical process, exactly. whether you want it to or not. Wherever you put it. And you Wherever know what, you Dennis, I, I think the, I think it's awesome that everybody is, they wanna help this girl. And we wanna yes. help this girl too, you know? Sure. Um, but again, where where the mark is being missed is no one said, okay, where did you start? What was the natural level? We see the we see the target photo. What did you apply? And how many times? Because she's like, I use ash, I use natural ash, I use double ash. And you know, and even whatever category of product she applied over top of previous products matters. Right. You know, so it's like you got to, the, the point I'm trying to d drive home is, yeah, you got to find where you're starting, where you're trying to go, and then the history in between to really make an educated evaluation and then choice for how to move forward yeah without that without getting all those details 
the devil is in the details, you guys, and that should be the Amen. name of this episode because I think you... that's a great name. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. Hi, you're all watching our creative process right now. <laughs> <laughs> the the video is almost finished and now we come up with what we're going to call the video all right so one final one max here you go you have to accept it some people just um, pull a lot of red yeah like all of them <laughs> so so what are you telling this woman to do to go say i'm sorry it's you it's your fault it's not my fault as your color. <laughs> it's not me. It's you. you. You now have the scourge of red. <laughs> so, Sorry, lady. So, yeah. It's, I mean, it's so crazy that, that we do this. And I know, look, most of the time our intentions are good. But it's not our intentions that we're looking at here. We're looking at your actions. Right. Okay. If you're going to ask for help on social media, please be kind enough to give all the details. Mm -hmm. If you're going to offer help on social media, please give, be kind enough to give all the details. You and have ask to for assume. Them. Yeah. Ask Ask for them if it's not clear, because right. and not to get self healthy here, but a very famous public speaker says, "Clear is kind," and that is my life mantra. You know. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's what we call teaching for transfer. That's right. You Which know? you guys will hear about at the end of this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, look, um, we beat this one up pretty much. So if we've offended you, we apologize. <laughs> if was we not our laugh, intention. No. If we made we you laugh. We are happy. Yes, we are happy because that is our goal, because we have to learn to laugh at ourselves. Yeah. And um, I hope this person finds resolution to her challenge. Um, I am not a big fan of asking for help on social media. Here's why I say that. Because, you know, you're going to get a lot more opinions than you're going to get actual help. And sometimes right. sending me 80, 189 opinions doesn't really help me. It, it is that person that takes that extra step if that's really what they want to do. And I mean, you got to admit, you know, our communication skills are really pretty, pretty lacking. And that's why we're confused. Right. That's why when we sit in a class and somebody uses their inside lingo when they're teaching you and you're an outside person because you don't know their inside lingo, you feel like you've been left out. You feel, I don't get that. I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. You know, language and you know, some of you go, yeah, yeah, you're the guy who always gripes about what we use for words. And it's true because we send in words and we receive in pictures. Don't forget that. That's the way mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the way we communicate. So you have to think about how am I going to articulate this information so that it makes sense, so that it's something that that person can use. And um I know that we we all have our own little tribes that we belong to. You know, we have our our Redkin tribe, our Goldwell tribe, our Schwarzkopf tribe, our Joyco tribe, you know, all of our little tribes. And every tribe's got a little bit different approach to hair color, which is really sad because hair color is universal. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know? Dennis, you belong to a tribe. I belong to a tribe. But yeah. at the end of the day, hair color is hair color. Hair exactly. is hair. It's, it is. It, it doesn't matter what line you apply it to. There are it certain doesn't. fundamental principles that will always happen. No Absolutely. matter what the brand is. So you guys. Yeah. And when you learn those principles, 
when you learn those principles, it's like this fog is lifted and 100%. suddenly you can see clearly now. Oh, there's a song for that. I can see the clearly rain is now. <laughs> Ooh, I almost vanished into my background. Oh, you did, boy. And you lost your whole body a moment ago. Like, you know, it was just I, your head. I was just going, my Don't floating do that. head. <laughs> so, like a, anyway, look, I mansion. hope you folks have enjoyed this session. Um, Max and I, uh, I've had fun talking about this stuff because it's real. We, we really talk fun. about real stuff. Listen. You know? Exactly. And we're not here to rake anyone over the coals or make fun of them. That was not the intention of this. We, we are really just trying to get real and talk about what is yeah. out there and how maybe just boom, 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 boom with your formulas isn't always the best, you know? Right. Dig a, dig exactly. a little bit. Ask, yeah. ask those hard questions. So if we provoked your thought process, then we have achieved our goal today. I want to thank all of you who are watching us here on YouTube. Our audience is growing. <coughs> we are so excited. Thank you all who follow us. Please remember, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click on that little bell so that you will be reminded when we drop a new video here on YouTube. So we invite you to to subscribe. We're very excited that uh, our audience is growing here. For everyone who wants to reach out to us, we invite you to reach out to us on Instagram. You can find Max is at Max M Hair. You can find me at Real Captain Color. And we invite you to visit our website, www.gurunation.net, or better yet, on my Instagram address you can simply click on the link it will take you directly to our educational uh, catalog on our website so you can see the classes that we offer speaking of that my Ooh. friend school is in session starting october the third we are beginning hair color school we are so excited about this program because you will be able to be with us for 30 days, 30 days. It is broken into four two-hour sessions. We will uh, go through content. You'll get a workbook. We give you homework. So like the, the session you're in this week, we give you homework that needs to be completed by next week. And mm -hmm. while, you are, while we are apart from each other, you are put upon us into a special thread only our students are put into that thread where you can reach out to us. You can type in a question 24 seven on that thread and Max and I will retrieve or try to answer that question. So you're in contact with us for a full 30 days. We believe truly right. that this program will produce people that are not only do they have lots of content, but they've actually had the opportunity to apply the content and they've actually had to digest it and they, they'll they have full ownership of it at the end of that course. So that is Hair Color School. It is already up on our website. We are already accepting students. We already have students that have signed up for that. Thank you all so much. We're very excited about that program. And we're also excited about a new program that we will be uh, launching September 26th and 27th. Yesterday, I did a poll on Instagram and asked people if they would be interested in an educator training program where you can uh, polish your skills in facilitating educational information. Because I know there's lots of you out there who do trainings as well as do online training. And there's a lot of things that, that we need to know about that skill set. It is different than doing hair behind the chair. You know, just because yeah. we're talented hairdressers, Facilitating information, articulating content, keeping learners engaged, that's a whole nother skill set. And so uh, because people said, we had people request it because we had an 87% positive response. <laughs> that's kind of like a no brainer. I guess if we were politicians would say, that's a mandate. <laughs> and so anyway, <laughs> anyway, Teach for Transfer 
will be uh, will be aired on September 26th and 27th. Uh, it is not up on our website yet. It will be by tomorrow. And so if you are interested in expanding your skill set as an educator, as a facilitator, we invite you to join us in that program. We're very excited about that. And of course, we have our regular collection of classes that we have available in our virtual classroom and webinars for down that you can download to watch. We are constantly adding new things. We're going to add a new downloadable webinar uh, pretty soon. Max is doing that video. It'll be up. And he's going to walk you through how to swatch out your colors. I mean, it sounds like a very small thing, but it's huge because, you know, we assumed when we started teaching people this that they would swatch out and they would be able to read their color of it. Sometimes they don't know how to read it. So we're going to show you how to swatch it. We're going to show you how to read it. And, and that way, then, it will help you master whatever brand of color that you're using. Uh, and so we're very excited about that program being available as well. So, and also Thursday nights, uh, don't forget to join us on Thursday nights. We have Captain Color and Friends. Uh, we, we start our program around 6 o'clock. We have some great talk about hair color. And I have a feeling that this Thursday, the 26th, of August, we might have a special guest. And so um, that should be posted tomorrow. And uh, you know, I'm getting confirmation on it. And, uh, and we will let you know. So anyway, hope you've had a great time. I thank you, Max. Great seeing you, brother. Dennis, always a pleasure. Thanks for having yeah. me. We you. wish you all a fabulous week. And as always, from my heart to yours, I'm Captain Color. I'm out. Max, how about you? I Bye -bye, am out everybody. too. Take care, everyone. We'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye.